Would it surprise you to know that one of the most important pillars of calculus is something that you use every day? Well, functions are fundamental to calculus, but you've been using them your entire life. Formally, functions map a set of numbers to another set of numbers. So what does this mean? Well, say we have a black box. We're going to call this our function. If you put in the number, say, 4, you might get out the number 8. If you put in the number 5, you might get out the number 16. For each number that you put in, say x, you'll get out another number, say y. Now sometimes you can put in two different numbers, let's say 4 and let's say 22, and get out the same number, say 39. But at no point in time will you put in one number and get two different numbers out. This may sound complex, but it's really just saying stuff you already know. For example, you use functions every time you go to the gas station. Here, the amount of money that you pay at a gas station depends on the amount of gas that you pump. To put another way, the amount of gas that you pump determines the number of dollars that you pay. So let's say gas is $3.80 a gallon. If you're going on a long road trip, you might need, say, 10.2 gallons. If you pump 10.2 gallons and gas is $3.80 a gallon, the gas station is going to charge you $38.76. If you just ran across town and needed, say, 2.3 gallons, the gas station's only going to charge you 8.74. Of course, depending on your car, you may need more or less gas, and the station is going to charge you based on the amount of gas that you take. Now, how they determine the amount to charge is very simple. They use a function that maps the number of gallons that you pump to the number of dollars that you need to pay. So specifically, we say that the number of dollars you pay is a function of the amount of gas you buy. You know the number of gallons that you're going to buy. You know an x variable. So this is your independent variable. What you want to know is the amount of dollars that you're going to pay. Why? This is dependent because it depends on the number of gallons that you buy. So one way to put this mathematically is that the dollars you pay is a function of the gallons you buy, just like what we said before. But let's write this out in math terms. The dollars you pay, y, is, that's math speak for equals, a function, we're going to call this f, f for function, of the gallons that you buy. Now that's x. So y equals f of x. Generally, a function is written with input variables in these parentheses. So in the case of our gas station, we really know what the function is. So we go to the gas station and we pump some amount of gas. So because you've probably gone to the gas station before, you know that the number of dollars that you're going to pay is equal to the amount of gas that you pumped times the price per gallon. So if gas is $4 a gallon, then we write y is equal to 4 times our input, which is the number of gallons we pump. If we pump, say, 4 gallons of gas. And so we plug this into our function, 4 times 4, and that's 16. So we would owe $16. So an important point here is to note that when we say y equals f of x, that's good for any value of x. We're using x as a variable here. If we say y equals f of 5, we're evaluating this function using x equals 5. So imagine going to the gas station and instead of pumping, say, 4 gallons of gas and owing $16, you try to give gas